Hey everybody, welcome back to New Venus Channel and today we look into a new addition to Lazy Hydration and that will be especially interesting for those of you who really dislike auto imports. Now you wonder, why are these two things mentioned together and how they're related? Let's check it out, here we go. Hydration in general and also Lazy Hydration has been here on the channel for a couple of times, right? We talked about Vue 3.4 back in the days, adding better error messages to hydration errors, because we all don't like them and want to debug them. We talked about Lazy Hydration being introduced in Nux.js and took a look deep down under the hood of how things are implemented. And also we've compared Lazy Hydration or Delayed Hydration to Nux server components and the differences there. All videos, link in the description, and we've also seen them around here. But today we want to take a look at the caveat that came with lazy hydration at first in Nux.js, and that's resolved now. And that's especially important, as I mentioned before, for all of you who really dislike auto imports. Because before lazy hydration wouldn't work with all auto importing components, and luckily that's not the case anymore in Nux 3.18. Yeah, we still have minor versions of Nux 3. For a little bit and also next four this is resolved let's have a look and as usual we have a quite minimal demo application here we just have a next config we have our next four setup with the app folder here and we have a component called app footer pretty simple you might have remembered that from the uh, lazy hydration versus server component video and also an index page that's a bit different here so we have a script part where we have a should footer hydrate ref here we make it a tiny bit bigger and then we have a hydrate footer functionality on click that will be called and then we have here a hydrate when for the lazy app footer so it will be hydrated and that's a pretty normal setup so if we have a look at a browser here we have this my test footer i cleared all the dev tools things and if you click on hydrate well then this will actually load the footer don't worry about the size of course there's dev mode so we have all the interesting hmr things etc of course in production would be way way smaller and probably not even worth uh, hydrating because this is static. So that's just the use case here as an example. And so far this works great, but now we already see that there are no explicit imports in our actual single file component. And for people preferring that, as I mentioned before, there was no real way to use lazy hydration without using the auto imports. But this changes now and we can actually implement it real quick. And to make sure we don't forget anything here, we go into our next config and we want to disable auto imports. Also, quick heads up, I already talked about auto imports, the good and the bad parts at length in another video. So also check it out if you're interested in that and wonder why they're actually there, if they're helpful for you, if you like them or not, and want some more opinion on it. But for this video, you want to disable them. So first of all, we want to disable the automatic loading of components. So we just set components false here. And then we want to set imports and auto import to false here as well. For our use case, that should be fine. Now, the first thing that we notice is that the uh, index that view straight away shows an error because ref doesn't exist anymore, which is of course correct. So we can just import from hash imports, or even from view if you want to, because it's just um, re-exported there. So now we're good to go. But we have a slight problem now if we take a look at our page. Because here we have the hydrate button, but the, the footer is gone, right? So if we take a look at the HTML here as well, uh, there is just a lazy app footer. So it's treated as some kind of web components or a custom component, which is of course not the case. And why is that? Well, this is because the lazy app footer here is not auto imported anymore because we disabled that. So we want to import that directly. And we can even remove the lazy prefix. We can also keep it if we want to, that's up to us. So now we can say, let's import app footer from components app footer, or also here, we can just have the lazy prefix again. Okay, so far so good. Let's take a look at the browser and that looks fine. We have the footer back here. But if we now clear the network tab once again, we, you know what, let's even do a refresh because as we all know, hydration only works in the initial request. So we have refreshed everything and we can clear this here we click hydrate and we see nothing happens. Why that? Well, let's refresh that again and let's just take a look at footer. We'll see that our app footer is loaded, well, not lazily, but just by default. So this kind of seems broken, right? Well, not exactly. As mentioned, if you use direct imports, this is the case before 3.18 and before next four. 
lazy hydration doesn't work because Nuxt's plugin that auto imports the components and scans them usually for like, hey, does it have the lazy prefix, etc., etc. It's not applied here because we directly import them. So we have to do a little bit of legwork. I promise it's not too much to make all of that happen. The first thing we want is actually an async component because right now this is just import at the top, but we only want to import it more or less conditionally when this is actually hydrating. So what people would usually do is let's say const lazy footer is define async components, right? This would be like how we do it in plain view. We can say a define async component. And here we just write an import statement. We remove all of that and just say sure whenever do this. And we here import our components. Now, if we do this, we want to check if our page still works, right? It should be the case and that looks fine. But if we open the dev tools and now click hydrate, still nothing happens. And if we refresh the page, we'll still see, okay, uh, the app footer is still loaded because, well, it is, it is used straight away. So also here, the problem is not solved, but it will be very soon, I promise. Let's implement the fix. And to do so, we can use a new Nuxt functionality, which is define lazy hydration component. So instead of using async component, we can define a lazy hydration component. And now we need to do two things, right? It throws already because we have a source here, so our component, but we also need another thing. We have to define a strategy. And strategy is defined first. And here we should just define it as if, because we use our hydrate uh, when down here. Now, actually, we have the if strategy, which is the same that's used under the hood. And the only thing left to do is now to check if things work in the browser. And for that, of course, we want to check the website. We have the test footer that's appearing here. We check for footer, no initial JavaScript loaded. And if we click the hydrate button, fingers crossed, yes, it will fetch the JavaScript file correspondingly. So this is how it should be. And now you have the option to use lazy hydration with alt uh, component auto imports or any auto imports in general. But there's also another nice use case here that we can take a look at. And that's because you can specify specific components to be loaded. And you can also, if you want to export them further, so people will make sure to actually use them always with some kind of hydration strategy set up instead of just a plain component. And the big benefit here, for example, of the hydrate vent strategy, if we don't provide the property, then of course, Vue TSC will complain and we actually see an error. So that way, especially in bigger teams, it can be really helpful to say, okay, we need to use, for example, the footer always with a specific uh, hydration strategy. You can define how it looks like, but you have to provide that. And that's of course a bit different than wrapping that component in another component itself. It will be a bit more performant, plus you have the chance to define whatever you need here hydration strategy wise. And last but not least, if you want to have more insights on how it looks under the hood, then you can check out PR 31192. Kudos to Alex Leo, aka Mini Ghost, who added that uh, quite a few months ago and eventually it got merged into Alpha 4 and is now available as mentioned before in 3.18 and V4 and beyond that. So definitely check it out. It's a great PR with some thoughts. And uh, if you have any questions, then please, as usual, leave them below the comments. Will you use it or are you fine with auto imports? Let me know what you think. And um, other than that, I hope you have a lovely day. Take a look at all the other videos around and see you in the next one. Happy hacking.